What is up ladies and gentlemen, Johnny5Live here and in today's video, I got it's a pretty important video for anyone who downloads the finished Skyline Skytrain shopping center. Um, this building includes something like 14 different shops, actually maybe 16, two bathrooms, four ATMs and uh, a SkyTrain station or a monorail station. And I think some other stuff is in here too. So if you're downloading this, there's gonna be some setup required. So you're gonna need to watch this video to really understand how it's gonna hopefully be a quick one. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. So this one's already set up. You can see all the pathing works. I can, I'll just give you guys a quick tour here. This is uh, the, the bottom shopping center here. It has a path going up. Um, has another food court slash shopping center here with another seven shops. The other spot had seven shops as well. It has paths going out each side. It has a whole plaza area up top with paths going all around, paths going in, paths going down. We have paths going up to the SkyTrain. We got some bathrooms. There are no paths up top. It's just for looks. And I think that's it. So it takes, and then there's the queue as well. And then some trash bins in key locations so that um, people make, you, they don't cut corners and walk through the geometry. So you can put trash cans in certain areas to make sure people properly take corners. So I'm gonna show you guys all that in this video. So we're gonna go to a fresh map where I, I need to put this down for Yeti land anyways. So we're gonna set up a brand new one in Yeti land. So here we are in Yeti land. This is actually the original creation before we took it over. So we're just going to get rid of this. And I think I got to quickly decide where I want this thing. I think this spot here is going to be pretty good. Now you can sink it in a little bit. It's up to you. There is some wiggle room. Just take a look at the back and like where these line up. Just sinking it in a little bit should be fine. Um, for this one, I feel like I should have it pretty close to the back of the map. Pop that down. So then you're going to grab the decorations that I provided. Now, here's the interesting thing. It's going to be pretty tough to line these suckers up. So what I did is inside here, where the, the access is, I tried getting this as close as possible. So there's a red square on the inside. So if you push T, to go into free cam mode that'll allow you to pass through geometry so you're going to want to go to about the center here and fly your camera in and boom there you are you're inside and there's this little red square so now with the decorations there's also a blue square so these are your alignment tools and you're going to want and the reason they're there in this funky spot one so they're hidden and two um this is the closest that the center point was to the um widget the uh, translation widget so you want to try and line these guys up right on top of each other so they're basically flickering like crazy and they're exactly on top of one another i think that's pretty close you guys get it it might be a pixel off but it's going to be pretty damn close we might be able to drop it down just a tad there we go it's not perfect like that I had it, but if we go outside and take a look, everything should be fitting together quite perfectly, hopefully. Looks pretty good to me just at a first glance. Yeah. So it looks like the alignment widget worked. Everything looks in order. All the decorations are on. Nothing's floating. The lights are perfectly placed. And there you go. One and one, bam, put them together. Next, we're gonna do the pathing. Pathing's gonna be a little bit more tricky. So the, the trick with pathing is you wanna use the square pathing. So if you don't know about the square pathing, we're gonna learn that right now. And you're gonna have to work from certain points onward. So in order to get the pathing to show up, you first need to actually put down a piece. And I always recommend putting a piece next to a building because the buildings are always aligned to a square grid. So that means like if I put the path down here, it's kind of in a random spot. Whereas if I put it here, it's actually a part of the grid now because this is one grid tile. This is one grid tile as well. So now if we go into select grid mode, you got to have to find the sweet spot and it'll pop up. So there it is. 
and that means we're selecting this building's grid area. And sometimes it, it starts doing these buggy things. So if you hold the shift key, you can kind of pop it up and down. So you want to pop it up and get it to the level. See, now you can see we're working in this grid that I was talking about, and this grid is relative to these buildings. So now we can literally just go in and fill, and we can right click to get rid of that one, and now we're working on this grid size that we want. So all the buildings that are in this building, or all, I should I say, all the shops and facilities that are on this building are to the grid. They're all on the same grid. So you should be able to make, uh, use that trick on all the different levels. So we can connect these up last. We just want to get our basic structure in. So I might want to put a path here as well. Um, I can't remember exactly how I put this thing together, but we're going to get it there pretty decently. You know what? I forgot to mention, there's also, you want to turn off path supports. You don't want path supports because once we start putting supports, uh, paths up top, the supports will actually go through the ground and we don't want that. So you could turn that off. So you want to connect up all the bottom paths and that might be good for now. You can always kind of change it later. So it looks like the ground level is set up if we okay so if we go deselect the grid now and we could start from our food court so we'll do the same thing over here we'll put down a path and then we're going to go to select grid we're going to select one of these buildings so now we're working with the the second level grid we can get rid of that we're just going to fill in this area here and then if we fill here it'll get rid of the supports and now we can kind of open up our food court area a little bit more. There we go. It's looking pretty good. And then, as I said, we we're on the second level, so we can follow this outside. Take it to the stairs. So we just want to fill in the base shape right now. And then we could worry about connecting the stairs and all that. See, I was right. See, it turned out to be slightly different. When we were doing it before, there was a little bit of a gap. So it was better to work our way out from a shop rather than changing elevations and working our way inward so now the path is nice and tight to the garden that's how I had it in the original setup so that uh, second level is done it's looking good and then we want to go up to our third level so we're gonna deselect the grid and we're just gonna zoom on in to here and we're gonna connect one to the bathroom now we're gonna select grid find the grid for this floor fill it in right click to get rid of that now we can just fill in this whole area as well. Uh, you're going to want a queue. So depending on how you set this thing up, I believe I had it set about this big. So we'll do that in a second. But we, we, we left room for the queue. We want a little bench area up here. So fill that in. You can have benches on the edge there as well. And there we go. All the paths are filled in. I think somebody just fell over upstairs um, all right looks good so we're gonna deselect grid we're gonna select our train station we're gonna edit the train station place an entrance so we're gonna put one here we can have our exit uh, we could have it here or here doesn't really matter and you could also put it over here you can put it here depending on how long you want the queue it's really up to you there's a, a number of ways you can do this um, but the queue you're probably gonna want it four in width not three because four matches everything else and then we just put one of those down select the grid again now this is gets tricky so we can find another piece so sometimes it doesn't want to find the grid and that's why it gets difficult sometimes. There we go. We found a piece of the grid. Put one down. Deselect it. Plop, 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 plop. 
it's going to do something tricky here. So we could deselect the grid again, and it'll want to connect it. So we could connect it there, connect it there. There we go, we have our queue. You can have railings on this as well. Um, I probably should have done that, but maybe it looks a little bit cleaner like this. It's fine. Um, so there you go, you have your queue now. Now we're going to want to select and do our pathing. Or like connect all of our, our, our roads, I should say. And you know what? I picked the wrong... <laughs> I picked the wrong color path. But what's cool is you can actually go in and just paint over top. And it doesn't really matter. So I'll do that off camera. I'll paint them. But yeah, you could change the color after the fact. So it's not a big deal. So we're going to want a big staircase out front. I think that's eight wide that we're looking for. So probably from here. Now, might have to get rid of that. So this part can get a little bit tricky. There we go. If you hold the left mouse button down, it'll try and find its way in. Pop. There it goes. Now, this part over here is probably one of the trickiest. Go to our grid again. Select this. So now we're on the same level as this. We bring it down to about here. Okay. And we're just going to build this fat area here. And the reason for this, we can we can modify it later, is because the snapping in this game, it wants to like try and find its way to corners for some reason. So if the corners are far apart, then it won't have troubles finding a center. So it's not going to try and pop itself to all these silly corners. So just make it extra long and we can fix that after. And you'll see in a sec how this works. So now we have it deselected. We're probably going to want this path to be maybe six wide. It's really up to you. You can do eight. But I like the bits of the, the stairs showing just a little bit. And then you're going to want to just kind of hold the left mouse button and find your way up. Now it, it does go a little bit higher than we want. We can get rid of these paths though. And plop it in. It's a little bit arched there, but that's okay. I mean, you guys might have find your own way of doing this that might work slightly better. Um, but this is the way I did it and I'm fine with it. Pop that one in here, delete these two, and pop it in. Done. And then, see, now it found its way to the center quite easily. And we can literally just get rid of these after the fact. Otherwise, it would have been like doing all this weird pop ploppy stuff. So we can now connect whatever paths we want to this later. We just got our base set up. So there it goes. And uh, yeah, we can do whatever we want to this after. And then we're going to want the main staircase here. So you're... You'll see what I was talking about here. Like, I want to select the center, but it's trying to go, oh, you want to select this piece? It's like, as you can see here at the bottom, because it's nice and thick, it knows where to find a center. Up here, it doesn't. You can select the grid up top, put it one here and one here. So now it's longer. Now we can deselect the grid, and it knows where to find the center. So we can work our way from the top down. Now... I had this do something before where it perfectly found its way to the bottom and it created this really nice thing. So what you can do is probably increase the length of it. See? There you go. Um, and we might... Ah, the corner here got messed up. We can fill this part in. There we go. Now, it should hopefully find its way to the bottom. It's not doing a good job of it. Can't get it the way I had it before, which is a little bit aggravating. Um, we're going to reduce the length and just work our way up. Didn't quite snap to it, did it? Maybe if we'll do it the other way around. Oh! There it goes. I don't know what happened there, but it popped in. It takes a little bit of fiddling. There we go, perfect staircase. Jesus. So sometimes this thing could be a little bit frustrating. And we have one more to do down here, depending on how thick you want it. I'd say six is perfect.
We might... This one seemed a little bit tricky last time. Might have to delete those. There we go. It's not perfect, but it'll do the job. Alright, we got through it, guys. All the crazy stairs are in. It wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, we forgot this guy. So we gotta remove... Just go to four. Just bring it down to a regular stair slope. And pop it in. There you go. I'll fill in all the color after. Um, now we have to connect all the shops. So you're just going to use your regular connector tool. And when you go to the shop, you'll find a sweet spot. See, it goes pop. There's one. Two. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Pretty simple. Now all the shops will be functional. The AI will know to use them. It's switching paths on us again. We're going to have to connect our bathrooms. Try and find a sweet spot. There we go. And then the shopping district underneath us. You got to be careful because it'll do this thing, but it'll look like it's connected, but it's not. It can be a little... See, you have to wait until you hear the pop sound. Pop. 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 Oh, that one didn't work. Control Z to undo. I don't think this one worked either. There we go. It's acting finicky on this one. There we go. Alright. Oh yeah, don't forget about the ATMs. Pop. 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 Okay, it's so only three ATMs. Everything looks good. Looks good. Double check it all. Oh, maybe the exit to our ride. Oh, no, that's auto-connected. Oh, maybe not. Huh. I think it should work. As long as it's next to a path. Oh, maybe not. There you go. You have to connect the exit to the ride as well. Yep, and I'm going to do the recoloring. It's not too bad. Now, before I go, um, there's a, a little trick. So when the when the guests are walking about, they, they may do silly things like walk through um, pillars and stuff because they always try and find the, the best route. And in this game, there is no hitboxes slash collision detection on the geometry for these building pieces for some reason. But um, somebody gave me this tip, and it's really awesome. If you go into scenery and you go to your pathing, you're going to have benches and bins all over these paths. These actually have hitboxes on them and collision detection. So if you put a bin on corners like this, it forces the AI to take wider paths. So they will know to not cut through, essentially. So you could have one, like, maybe here as well. So now they're forced to kind of walk through the center. And then you could have one here as well. And they're forced to go around. And if you have one here, they're forced to take these nice big curves. So go in after and set up your bins. Um, you know, maybe it's even good to open up this, this shop and watch all the traffic flowing around so you can get an idea of where they're cutting through. They're going to try and cut through here and walk through the walls, so it's good to have a bin um, maybe even here and one, you know, uh, just one here should be fine. And then same with the corners here, having a bin here and maybe one here makes them take the wide arch. So just a little tip to make the thing look a lot more realistic and Make it so that AI navigation doesn't really bug out. It's going to help. Maybe one here so that they take the stairs a little bit nicer. Maybe one here 
so it forces them to go around instead of cutting through. They will try and cut through here for some reason, even though they're two separate paths, they won't walk to here. It's a little bit of a bug with the game and hopefully they improve the AI navigation in the future, but this is a nice little solution to get you around it. So anyways, that was quite a bit of setup, but let's take a look at this thing at nighttime. Booyah, pretty. So hopefully you guys enjoy this building. I know that was like a 20, 20 minute tutorial or 25 minutes and if I chop it down hopefully 20 minutes um, but yeah quite a big tutorial just to get this thing set up so hopefully you guys enjoy the building and hopefully um, you guys understand how to set it up properly and hopefully it's not too hard but I did create this tutorial for anyone who is struggling so um, yeah thank you guys so much for watching thank you for downloading this item and uh yeah be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new to it we do daily uploads on planet coaster i have park ride coaster and workshop wednesday spotlights where we feature creators and people submit their stuff and we feature it on the show i also have a let's play a let's build uh tips and tricks and guides and i cover all planet coaster news so be sure to come subscribe on youtube if you're if you're seeing this on the steam workshop all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the skyline building, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.